Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutzarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising monthly tarot reading for February 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I want to remind you once again guys that that is a, a general reading for a, a Libra star sign and for that reason um, in this video I will uh, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but as a general reading uh, this spread is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every uh, single uh, different Libra and uh, <clears throat> at the end uh, you will have to align your situation with it just like I'm doing for the examples in the video so if you want me to do that for you or to analyze your situation through uh, through tarot cards and give you a prediction for the future. Oh, well, that is a subject for of a, a personal reading and for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So uh, that is going to be as well enhanced tarot spread which means that we are going to draw additional card uh, per position and just from the looks of it just from these five general cards guys it uh, does look like that uh, you are to how can I place it uh, you are to retrospect uh, your performance deeds and priorities that you do have at uh, at that very moment and most likely uh, you are to reshuffle uh, th those priorities and uh, with that specific action of yours it's likely that you will become much more productive so it's kind of like uh, becoming this month of uh, February is going to be a month where you are going to for example abandon a um, tasks or, an, or an undertakings uh, which are taking awfully long time to be developed and in the same time aren't giving you that much of a benefits as compared to a much easier um, enterprises that are going to benefit you more for the time being so it's kind of like working smart rather than hard throughout the uh, months of uh, months of February and that is firstly displayed here with the ace of swords and then we do have the page of pentacles <clears throat> which is the general topic the general theme of the month and we do have a an active enemies here according to the element uh, to the elemental dignities so the page does represents the devotion or rather like the stubbornness one to develop a um a thing a thing or a a project or an enterprise which requires a lot of effort while in the same time if you are smarter about the situation and you kind of approach it i cannot say from a different angle but let's say you sober yourself wake up and uh, place a real and accurate diagnosis of your uh, situation either relationship wise or career wise you are likely to see that there will be much more um, meaningful things you could do or at least do the things you want to do in a slightly different way that is going to make your time much more pleasant uh, and as well much more productive on top of that. The Ace of Swords, it's um, <clears throat> how can I place it? It's a card pointing that throughout the month uh, a lot of things which are aggravating you or, or a lot of things which are cornering you eventually are going to burst the bubble in a sense of that um, <clears throat> the more cornered you are, um, the more predispositioned you are going to be to make a um, unpredictable moves. And those unpredictable moves as well uh, through the reshuffling of, uh, of one's uh, priorities uh, are going to give you much more uh, much more ease to face and cope with uh, with day by day ups and downs so just to give you an example here uh, that's um, to make myself a little bit more clearer I um, let's say that uh, you have uh, a responsibility towards your family all right I mean, and I mean family like siblings or, or mother and father and it takes quite a lot of time it consumes a lot of your energy while in the same time you're not facing much out of it and uh, throughout the months you know your family may kind of like uh, 
tell you something or do something to annoy you, to aggravate you and to give you the excuse to stop kind of like contributing for this pointless agenda or for this pointless um, enterprise and therefore you can uh, reprioritize you know your um, <clears throat> your time and your efforts as well toward much more meaningful and productive uh, deed of yours and that is very well displayed as well here with the tree of wands and the card that follows the tree of wands this is going to be uh, the uh, empress card <clears throat> and what happens here is that the more the empress it's uh, it's diminished the stronger the uh, the tree of wands becomes uh, or the more you consume the empress the more stronger the tree of wands uh, becomes so what these cards are pointing is that you need to deep to dive deeper uh, in your past and uh, find out what plans you had back then but some somewhat you kind of abandoned those plans so this is uh, a moment by you uh, liberating yourself i will say it that way but you liberating yourself from a uh, pointless activities or activities which are consuming a lot of your time and efforts and are not giving you anything in return you will have the opportunity here to manifest or materialize a uh, plans that you have abandoned abandoned back in the days for one or another reason now it's very important here as well <clears throat> that uh how can i place it mm. the more accountable you are with your decisions towards oneself not toward the others but toward oneself you know the uh the more solid patterns it is that you are going to establish throughout the month throughout the month patterns that you can follow and patterns that eventually are going are going to give you a, a quite a lot of room for growth however the growth which is symbolized by the tree of wands it's always a, a growth through struggle what i mean is that it's a growth through overcoming challenges so what these cards are asking you is to uh, detach yourself just for a couple of days or maybe even a week, you know, uh, from your current duties and responsibility. Just give yourself a break and uh, think about, uh, you know, what you can do in order to uh, kind of like reshift them and as well to make, make a cleaning, if you want to say it that way as well, of a... Um, as I said, those kind of responsibilities which are not giving you anything in return, but in the same time to uh, think about how you can lift the bar of your personal expectations and your personal performance. And if you do so, I do suspect here that you are going to be amazed what you can come up with, the things that you will come up with that you can manifest and that you can materialize. Now, if you are searching for a job, that is something that I want to give as an, an example here as well. Now, these cards are pointing that you are aiming way too low and you have to start thinking for something bigger than you are uh, attending at that point specific moment now thinking for something bigger doesn't mean that you are going to get it straight away but executing the plan that you do have for that bigger thing is just the first step you know for uh, manifesting that growth and yet the tree of wands is very low into the full journey of the fiery cards therefore it means that there is a, a lot of, for you to do before you actually reach that culmination but because at the end I will just go right now here with the tree of cups it means that at the end of the month you know your efforts here to um, to make an improvement of yourself or to conquer challenges are going to start giving slight results or rather like you are going to see that these results of your efforts are starting to materialize and that they are yours to catch if I may express myself that way maybe not at the end of February because at that time you're going to see them materializing all right maybe at the mid of March or the mid of uh, the mid of April as well but nonetheless you will see that your efforts are not in vain now the problem here that we do have this is going to be the world card with uh, the uh, king of wands and so what we do have is a person 
that uh, it's basically simply said that person is using you I mean the king of wands especially with the world card it is someone that relies a lot of the efforts of the others or the um, <clears throat> the means of others in order to uh, to accomplish their personal goals so for example that could be the person that has no clue how the project needs to be done but just because he is a uh, or she is a, a relative to your boss they place them as a supervisor and they make demands without even having a clue as i said what it takes in order to make uh, these um, th that project successful that is just for example you know giving deadlines uh, making reshuffles there in the stuff that it is working in etc etc now that is a person who points and they expect you to do the dirty work here and uh, as a challenge that needs to be overcome or as, uh, as a uh, predicament now that person will try to not let you go and uh, because the world card here which is stands as a liberation you know and uh, uh, your different perspective or rather like your different um, enterprise which you are going to achieve here through reshuffling you know your um, your responsibilities and your priorities for that matter um, they will try to block it it is my point here or rather they, they will try to make you not see it if that makes sense and uh, because uh, kind of like you serve their purpose you know and they will not part ways with you lightly now that it will be very difficult here if uh, that is for example a business partner of yours now if that's the case they are going to require or they will demand compensation just just say <clears throat> so what is important here to acknowledge with the king of wands is that their sense of perfection it is their curse as well they they always expect from the people around them to do the very best they can and even more than that so um, literally this is a, a person who is doomed of failure in that specific um, in that specific combo and even here as we do have a passive neutrals you know as neutrals that person can never accomplish the uh, the world card which you can um, so without you they are basically incapable to achieve their personal goal but their personal goal is standing in your way that could be as well your father for example or it could be um, it could be unfortunately you know your husband or it could be your wife as well and etc etc you gotta think of who is that one guy or a girl that um, always uh, using you for example they, they kind of give you an, an idea or they are telling you what they want to do and they are leaving you to do it you know so uh, going to the next card which is the uh, guidance the tarot is offering to you and these cards here the two of cups with the emperor it does point that you doesn't need much of an approval or rather like you don't need anybody to accomplish uh, your goal generally or to uh, accomplish those priorities that you uh, that you find uh, most essential at that specific moment and uh, it's basically that's that I mean you are that these cards are pointing that you are completely capable to organize uh, your routine your environment and as well to systemize your plan how you should proceed on forth and to overcome those challenges of growth again your growth here is tied uh, closely or rather like um, yeah closely to the challenges that you place yourself bigger challenges bigger growth so you should think big and uh, the emperor here as a guidance next to the two of cups it does point that you don't have to share your uh, good fortune with anybody or you don't have to share the reward that you are going to start receiving or you're going to start materializing here at the end of the month with anybody else because you are more than capable Libras to um, basically overcome this period of challenges uh, on your own and I think that you're going to be quite proud at the end of the day that um, you did it no one believed in you but you did it 
you know it's important here that you believed in yourself right so if you do believe in yourself through according to these cards there is nothing that you cannot do however you have to be um, objective and you have to be with a keen mind to the situation because as i said the month starts you wasting your time and efforts for someone else's goal and the last card that we do have, this is going to be the tree of uh, the tree of cups with uh, the six of wands. So this is a, another confirmation that these rewards and recognition that you are going to receive is going to be singular and only for you. We do have passive enemies here. So should you proceed on your own uh, as it's a passive enemies, it means that that thing is going to come on its own accord. So uh, I, um, how can I place it? Uh, let's say that you are an actor, all right? And if you work acting for the acting itself, so you love acting, all right? And you don't uh, kind of strive yourself uh, by the money, though these cards means that the money are gonna find you regardless, all right? So that you cannot escape the good fortune here should you believe in yourself and should you go uh, forth with your own personal path instead of following someone else's um, you know someone else's recommendations and as well someone else's idea now important here to acknowledge is that at the end of the month you will realize that the vision that you do had uh, by shared vision excuse me with other people uh, let's say your family or your husband or a wife you know or co-workers for that matter it's completely wrong I mean the, the whole the whole time <clears throat> you could have um, you could have obtained your personal vision upon the matter and your personal vision would have been most accurate vision for yourself vision I mean uh, how you uh, vision of what you need to do for it so you can feel uh, yourself uh, fulfilled emotionally successful into career loved into relationship and etc etc <clears throat> so I know so what these cards are pointing as well is that at the end of the month you are going to re realize that what works for others it doesn't work for you however you do have a, a unique way how to do things and you are going to be recognized for it and you're going to have a rewards for it as well nonetheless here what we do have at the end is that you are going to have a, a peak of experience which could be uh, you know success into your business a partial success yet you know because uh, the these couple of cards are pointing that the big rewards are yet to come all right but nonetheless you're going to see improvement a severe improvement compared to how you entered the month here and on top of that this improvement is going to be thanks to you and not to someone else and everybody will see that so pretty much uh, that being said Libras uh, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for um, February 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again this was a general reading for a Libra star sign and uh, in this video I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, you have to align it uh, with your personal situation just like I did for the few examples I gave throughout the reading. If you want me to do that for you or to analyze your situation and to give through tarot and to give you a prediction for your future, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed by, by the way down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.